parity check. Now, does anyone know what the word parity means? Parity? Does anyone know what the, um, the root word, par, means? Par? Yeah. It means equal. So, um, <clears throat> even though I don't play it, and I never will because I'm too uncoordinated for it, the main place we hear the word par is in golf, golf right? We say people are um, on par, right? Uh, which is something to do with equality, and you're up to a certain standard, okay? Uh, or you're three under par, or, or whatever it is, okay? So parity is really just a fancy word for equality. Or if you like, equivalence. Equivalence, as you'll see, is probably a, um, a better term to go for. It, okay? So how does this work? Um, you remember, on a network, right, we send data, um, and we send it in little discrete chunks. Do you remember what they were called? It starts with a P. Packets, correct. Now, packets can vary in size, okay? But one of the most common packet sizes is uh, one byte. Okay. And one byte, as you know, is short for eight, eight bits. Okay. So, uh, let's see, let's divide this up. So here's a byte, okay? And it's got eight little spots, and they're bits, so I can put a zero or a one in any of these. Okay. So... Uh, for instance, I might want to send, you know, 1100, 111, etc. And I send that off, that's my packet. Okay? But when it's sent, let's say this is 1100111, okay? As it gets sent along as an electrical signal, when it arrives, it might look different. Okay? So some electromagnetic field interferes with my cabling, okay? Or there's some kind of signal loss. So perhaps what gets received. Did I do that right? Yeah, I can count. Okay, um, has some alterations in it now because it's just zeros or ones. Okay, um, suppose this one here, it gets it's a bit weaker. Okay, now if it's just a little bit weaker, and uh, the receiving computer might guess, oh, it's still a one. It's still close enough. Okay, but this zero here, for instance. Okay, suppose some interference came in and it was so strong that this part of the signal looked closer to a one than it did to a zero. Okay, so what might be received is this. Now the question for you is, how might we tell that you know this is what arrives at you, okay? And like, what's the difference between these things? Um, what number is this? This is one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, a hundred and sorry, six, wait, damn, sixty-four, sixty-four, hundred twenty-eight. So this number is actually five, thirteen, seventy-seven, two hundred and five, two hundred five. Okay? Whereas this, the difference was a 32. Okay? So this is actually going to be 237. So how do you know that I meant to send this and not that? Like, how can you tell? Right? Now, in real life, how do we do this? You say something, and I mishear you. I hear this. What would I do? Or what would you do if you think you misheard me? What would you do? Send again. You'd say, you'd say we actually we have code for this. We have a, um, we have a protocol. We have an agreed upon set of rules, right, that would tell me, okay, you say something, like say, huh? I mean, just think about that, okay? <laughs> Seriously. Like, what in that <clears throat> tells me, communicates to me, oh, I did not, I'm not entirely sure that that was what you meant to say, and would you please repeat your signal so that I can verify the result? Uh, what's in there, it doesn't mean anything. It's just that we've agreed upon that. Like, we've learned through picking up language. It's like, oh, that means you didn't get it. Okay, I'll say it again, right? Now, the thing is, with computers, what's the, what's the huh? And how would you know? Like, for instance, suppose um, we're in conversation, and you ask me, <clears throat> um, you know, how old are you, right? And I say, uh, what you hear me say is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 205. <laughs> okay, now you would say, rightly... Huh? Right? Now, why, why would you say that? If you, like I said it very clearly, why wouldn't you think I'm 205? Makes no sense. Because it's a nonsensical result, right? Uh, and you have intuition, you're clever, mostly, right? And so you're like, nah, can't be. Therefore, huh? Okay, but, but, the computer, right? There's no, there's no intuition, there's no common sense, they're just numbers, okay? So what's it going to do? Here's what they have devised as a solution, okay? Um, packets are still the same size. They're still in, in um, oh, did I get it right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Still in um, lots of eight. Okay. 
what you do is you take the first seven, and that's the part that you use for your message or for your signal. Okay? And that's what you're actually going to send. What they stick on the end is something called a parity bit. It's called a bit because there's just one of them. And it's called parity because it's what we'll use to check. Okay? So let's take a different number. Um, let's take my real age this time, which is 27. Okay? So you've got these seven bits okay, to communicate that number. Okay? So 27, what's 27? Uh, I can fit, what's the biggest power of 2? I can fit 16 into that. And then that'll leave me with, sorry, I shouldn't have written that. That'll leave me with 11. So I can fit 8 into that. Sorry, 16. Eight. That'll leave me with 3. So a 2 and a 1. Okay? So what numbers am I going to write? I need a 2 and a 1, 1, 2, 8, and 16, okay? Now remember, this guy on the end, what we used to say, this is the first bit, okay? We ignore him. We don't have him as an option anymore, okay? So this is my 1, okay? So there's 1. Here's my 2. This would be 4, but I don't, I wouldn't want any 4s, right? So that's a 0. Here's my 8. Uh, here's my 16, and then I, I'm not that old, so I'll just leave those off, okay? All right, now, what does the parity bit do? There are two kinds of parity. I'll explain them in a second. But for now, what you would do is you'd say, look, I want, you count these um, ones, okay? And I say, I want an even number of ones in my whole packet, okay? Now, you have a look at how many ones there are right now. There are four, okay? So what should I put on the end to make this even? I'll put a zero. Because if I put a one, there'd be five ones, right? And it would be odd, okay? So in another color, maybe, <clears throat> I'm going to put zero there. Okay. That ensures that there's an even number of ones along here. Okay? Now, let's consider what would happen if there was some interference. Okay, so you can see what's happened, right? From what I wanted to send, or what I did send, <clears throat> suppose this is what is received, okay? What's the difference? Just one bit has changed, okay? Uh, it is this bit here. <clears throat> it's, no, it's no longer correct, okay? Now, what, what age would this be? Um, this would be missing the 2, okay? So this would be 25. Now, even you, with all your intuition, would say, well, that's still within acceptable bounds, right? That could be legit, right? So how do we know that this is actually wrong? Well, you have a look and you think, well, okay, how many ones are there? Okay, and we've agreed upon the fact that there always has to be, we're using this method of checking, there always has to be an even number of ones. And you look and you say, well, there's three ones. So this clearly must be wrong. Okay, whatever was sent, this couldn't have been it. Okay, um, and so what you would say is, huh? Well, actually, the computer wouldn't say that, but it would request for you to resend the data, or me to resend the data. Okay? So, this is what we call even parity, because I always wanted an even number of ones. Okay? Um, you can imagine there's, a, there's another version of this, which is odd parity, right? So, this is even. Let's come back to what I wanted to send. Okay, uh, what I wanted to send was uh, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Okay, now suppose we were under odd parity. Just you and me, we just agreed, okay, that we always want to have an odd number of 1s in each packet. Okay, when I have a look at the parity bit that I'm about to send to you, what should I put in there? A 1, right? I'll put it in another color. Because now there's an odd number of ones, okay? And when it arrives at you, sweet, you'll know that it's right. So this is odd. Okay, now, can someone tell me? Um, this is good. <clears throat> It'll catch out a lot of the errors that are going to come through. But there's some real problems with this method of checking, right? Can anyone suggest one? Yeah, Pock. If the parity bit gets altered, you're screwed. I ah, well, okay, let's try that, shall we? Uh, suppose this is, let's now go on to odd parity, okay? Suppose uh, this odd, this parity bit along the end does get altered. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, okay? So instead of zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, 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 instead the parity bit is altered and I get zero, okay? Are you going to know that this is wrong? Oh, yeah. 
you will, right? You will know that it's wrong because there's still an even number of uh, ones and we were looking, we said, I'm always going to send you odd ones. Every single time there should be odd ones. So you will know <coughs> that there were some problems, okay? But there is another issue. Yeah, Dati? What if you take two of the Okay, so suppose, like Pox suggested, the parity bit was altered, but also the one I was talking about before, this two, also gets altered, okay? So again, I'm 25, okay? But this is an odd number of ones. It still will check out, okay? So you'd be like, yeah, sure, why not? It checks out the rules, right? It makes sense, there's an odd number of ones, so it should be okay, right? So, the parity check, how does it work? Number one, it has this bit on the end, which we call a parity bit, and it's not actually sending a message. It's just telling you whether the message is right or not, okay? But, it's got some big problems with it. Um, it's got some glaring holes. Lots of errors will creep through, okay? Now, 